हेलो एवरीवन नाउ वी हैव कम अप विद द आंसर की सो विल गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस मैकेनिकल मेटलर्जी सो वी हैव कलेक्टेड द क्वेश्चंस ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेटलर्जी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू कैन सी हियर द सी बाय ए रेशियो ऑफ जिंक व्हिच इज ऑफ एसपी स्ट्रक्चर इज 1.856 स्लीप एट रूम टेम्परेचर अकर्स मोस्ट इजली ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्लीप सिस्टम इन जिंक वी हैव बीन गिवेन हियर इन एस सी पी मेटल द आइडियल सी बाय ए रेशियो इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थ्री सो हियर द सी बाय ए रेशियो ऑफ जिंक इज वन पॉइंट एट फाइव सिक्स विच इज ग्रेटर देन वन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थ्री सो वेन एवर द सी बाय ए रेशियो इज ग्रेटर देन the ideal c by a ratio then slip occurs on the basal plane so here which one is the basal plane so basal plane is this one 0 0 0 and the direction will be 1 1 2 bar 0 so the correct answer will be option c okay next question A single crystal of aluminium is subjected to 10 ampere tensile stress along the 3 to 1 direction, crystallographic direction. The resolved shear stress on the 1 1 bar 1 0 1 slip system is dash. So we have to answer in ampere up to two decimal places. So here you can see here in the diagram. so the tensile stress acts in 3 to 1 direction and this is the slip plane and the slip plane has got the normal 1 1 1 bar as given here and the direction of slip is 1 0 1 since we have to calculate the uh, critical resolved shear stress the resolved shear stress so the formula is tau is equal to sigma cos lambda cos theta so lambda is this angle and theta is this now since lambda is angle between the n vector and is the normal of the slip plane t is the tangential direction and s is the slip direction so lambda is between n and t so we will find according to this dot product n dot t is equal to n modulus of n modulus of t cos lambda so If you multiply n and t, n and t, so this will be three, two, uh, and minus one. So three two minus one is equal to uh, modulus of n. That will be root under three, and this will be root under fourteen into cos lambda. So here we come and we get cos lambda is equal to four by root under three, root under fourteen. So similarly for theta also. will uh, do the same calculation taking the two vector t vector and s vector so t dot s vector is equal to modulus of t s cos theta so plus 0 plus 1 is equal to root 14 root 2 cos theta so you can see here now these are the calculation parts so here we get cos theta is equal to 4 by root under 14 into root under 2 so tau is equal to sigma cos Lambda cos theta. So we'll put the values from here: cos theta and cos uh, cos lambda and cos theta. So 10 into 4 root under 3 root under 14. Uh, this multiplication after this will get the answer. So is equal to 4.66. Okay. We have been given here the tensile stress strain curve of different kind of materials, and the different kind of materials are listed here: polyester. second one is the high purity copper third one is the nickel and fourth one is the soda lime class now here we have been given uh, the stress strain curve so this is for p material q material r and s so since we have to match this p with the different kind of material this q means this q belongs to which kind of material now here we know polyester polyester is basically a polymer material so a polymer material has got stress strain curve like 
the curve which is shown as S here. So first one will match with S. Okay. So let me write here one will match with S. Okay. Second high purity copper. You know high purity copper. So copper basically uh, since it is high purity, so it will just go strain hardening after the ill point. So which kind of material is whose tensile stress is shown as the only strain hardening part after uh, the elastic def uh, deformation that is the Q. So for 2 that will be Q. Okay. Now mild steel. So mild steel we know that uh, due to presence of low carbon and formation of quartal atmosphere the ill point phenomenon takes place. So in the graph also we can see the material P after uh, the yielding what happens there is a drop in stress so this shows basically the uh, that is called as um, this is because of formation of quartal atmosphere and ill point phenomena basically this one is called it so 3 so 3 will match with P okay uh, coming to 4 this is the soda lime glass so glass soda lime glass so glass is a brittle material so since brittle material is there so there will be no chance of plastic deformation it will simply break after the ill point so if you see in the curve also uh, the curve the r r shows that after this point the material has failed so it shows that this is of is of glass so four will match with r so one will one with s so let me check here so s with one okay q with two q two okay so i think this will be the answer so r with four yeah so answer will be c thank you